Hey guys, and welcome back to the final part of Let's Play PN3 with me, Ready Eagle 84. Uh, so yeah, let's upgrade his energy, and then we got a fully upgraded Interra Blazer, which is pretty awesome. And we'll on to the final mission. Uh, yeah, and sorry about the last mission. Oh, yeah, whatever. Auron. Auron? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's the name of the final boss. Uh, okay. But sorry about the last mission, I was just really trying to get it over with as quick as possible, and I'm sorry if my commentary was really bad, which I know it was, so yeah. <laughs> I don't think this mission has a lot of rooms. Well, it has 18. Eh, we'll finish it in half an hour. Is this... oh. You had to be a dick, didn't you, game? Why was Vanessa just teabagging nothing? Silly Vanessa. Yeah, you just want to keep heading straight forward. I know she said that paths sort of branch off a bit, but that random woman is silly, so don't listen to her. Don't listen to her lies. Yes. But, oh, this room. This room is literally really annoying because you just have to sit back and shoot as many of these, like, little turrets as you can to progress, otherwise you're going to take a lot of damage, and we don't want that. But yeah, this is the final mission, so I guess I've had fun with this game. I don't think it's made much of a let's play, but uh, you'll be happy to see what I've got lined up for my next one, so yeah. I'm not going to spoil what it is, and I don't know if I'm going to start it for a little while. Because I said I would be getting a high quality capture device, I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm going to wait and uh, get the best capture device that you can possibly get, which is, uh, you've probably heard of if you've ever inquired into Let's Playing. It's a called a Hopage HD PVR. Now, they are quite expensive. Well, for my budget, anyway. So, it, it might be a little while before I get one of them. But, if you're here for actual quality of the videos, then, sorry, this ain't your place. But, if you're here for Capcom games, however, well, saying that, I don't think I'm going to just do Capcom games, because that's, like, kind of racist. Well, it's not racist, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but, there is some games that I do want to do. I've always wanted to do. And I'm going to do some replays as well from old Let's Plays of my old channel that I never got around to uh, either finishing or I made a crap job of. <coughs> Beautiful Joe. Uh, but yeah. God damn. That guy must have hit me like three times. Stop moving in circles, you fag. Freaky android genotype. Yep, that's what I said. But we're already five rooms into this, and we're only three minutes in, so yeah. This is not going to last long. Yeah, so they're going to fire lasers at you. So you want to dodge that one. Hammer it with all you've got. You're just going to want to let it shoot the wall. It's weird how you can see where it's actually shooting. Like, through the wall, which is kind of kind of weird. But Ah, that room's not too difficult, as long as you don't get ambushed by both of those lasers. Otherwise, you will die. So, yeah, be careful of that. So, we're a third of the way through the final mission. Which is not bad going at all. And there's a sneaky hidden three continue there. So... As far as I remember though, the final boss isn't actually that tough. It's just, he ha has a lot of things on screen at once that can hurt you, you know? Uh, but, we'll get to that when we come to it. Oh, this bit, I don't like this bit either. 
I think you have to kill everything in here, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, but yeah, this isn't going to take long at all. Stop using shields, you're just prolonging your existence, which makes me angry. Oh shit. Didn't expect you to be there, my old, my old son. But. Yeah, yeah this bit's kind of maze like. It's quite easy to get lost in this part. Well, I say lost, not lost. Oh, yeah, you do have to kill all the enemies here, which is very annoying. But, alas, it is no problem, so. Eight rooms, ten rooms to go. But yeah, I've enjoyed playing this game and recording it, I suppose. I suppose it's another Let's Play up on my channel for people to watch, you know. Because I think that, that was the problem with uh, my old channel, is that I didn't finish any Let's Plays for a long time. And I think that's what got on people's nerves about me, you know. <clears throat> oh well. I was so close to finishing Phoenix Wright, man. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I was so close to finishing it, and then it just went... <laughs> and like Phoenix's head exploded or something. And here's another one of those rooms with annoying lasers, which can be taken out quite easily. Oh look, more enemies. Now this tank definitely transforms, I remember that. See? It transforms. It has the base unit and the uh, big flying thing. But if you destroy one, they both go down, so yeah. We've got over 100,000 points, and we're just over halfway to the end. And it's been seven minutes, so I don't think we're making bad time at all. Nope, not at all. We're doing well. Oh, come on, stop moving. That's the only reason why those enemies are annoying. They just don't stop moving. And I'm not going to break out into an S Club 7 song, because that is so 90s. And it's so, like, crap as well. <laughs> right, you can just die. Don't even start getting on my nerves. Thank you. How courteous of you. Yeah, if, if you stand in their blind spots, that's the best place to shoot them from, you know. I'm uh, gonna wanna watch out for that guy, he has laser. <laughs> and just blow him away. Uh, hey! See? Not too tough. Oh, these guys, they're so annoying! Why are they. Why, why do they exist? Why are they in this game? Anyway. Twelve rooms, six to go. And one of them, of course, has to be a laser wire one. Oop. That was a pathetically easy one to dodge. Whoa! Hup. See? Pathetically easy. <laughs> Thirteen, five more to go. Oh. This one's not too difficult either. Just use the swan. Oh god, didn't realise they were. This whole game's not too di as I, I keep saying, oh it's not too difficult, this bit's not too difficult. But this whole game isn't actually that difficult. As long as you don't rush like I did, you know. Poof. Oh, you can't hit me down here, can you? Silly goose. Ah, uh, there was another guy. Uh, somewhere. I keep calling them guys. They're robots. They're not people. Oh, I just got 16,000 points that I have nothing to do with. Hooray. Huh? The life barrier's still up? Oh. That's a bit of a dick move game. Oh well. More enemies for me to kill. 
And we're nearly there. This is the entrance to the upgraded thingy room. Thingy boss room, you know. So, let's do it, shall we? Fifteen. Or is this the entrance to the actual... Oh no, this is the entrance to the upgraded thingy boss's room. But we've seen him before, so we don't need to see any of this crap. As I say, just start shooting him. And when the targeting thing changes, use the swamp. Boom. Right, we're going to want to dodge out of the way of that. So that is not a nice attack. <laughs> Blam! Yeah, he took that like a pro, didn't he? <laughs> but yeah, the advantage to having upgraded... Uh, what's it? Energy, like I've got, is that... Ah, so this is what I was talking about earlier, when you can uh, actually sort of sequence break almost but anyway that b that phase is destroyed and now he's got another phase so yeah he turns into a bird which is pretty cool because the bird 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 no I'm not gonna rip off NCS that would just be weird I try to think of myself as an original out here even though NCS is probably my greatest inspiration oh well yeah, just stay down here. He can't hit you, I don't think. No, he can't hit you if he's staying here. And he's gone. Easy. <coughs> and then he turns into a smouldering pile of junk, as you do. Aha. Awesome. So we got through that with minimal pain, and we're at 12 minutes. So we are making extremely good time right about now. So, uh, green, yeah, orange, got full energy, and we're ready to take on the final boss of this game. Be warned, he is not easy. He is the only boss in this game that actually poses quite a bit of threat. So, I'm warning you. And as with the last one, we want to hold off on using our energy drives for a little while. Oh look, he's a plug. But yeah, he won't stay like that forever, so... But yeah, I think we want to hold off on using the energy drives for a little bit. Because he actually has two phases, so... Yeah, and Vanessa's is clicking the heels. Yeah, you do that. You do that there, love. Oh god. Yeah, you just want to dodge out of the way of his attacks. And he'll change form pretty quickly. And this is where you want to use Pegasus. So... Yeah, he changes into, like, a scorpion sort of thing, which is pretty cool. And then Pegasus him in the face. And as you'll see, that didn't do actually that much. So what we're going to want to do... Ow. Is not get hit. Yeah, don't get hit by those balls. And use another Pegasus. Bam. And he's two-thirds of the way gone already. And when those like little headlights flash, well not headlights, there is turrets, aren't they? But when his like spots on his head flash, on his head flash even, yeah, watch out for those lasers. They will do a number on you. I think yeah, there there is a blind spot over there, so. But doesn't matter. He's dead. That's it, final boss, done. Piece of cake. No trouble whatsoever. I think he's done anyway. I d or is he? Yeah, I reckon he is. And Vanessa somersaults into the air, and that served absolutely no purpose whatsoever, but he explodes. Okay, that scene is pretty cool right there. I'll give her that. Nice one, Vanessa. But yeah, so ends the tale of Vanessa Z. Schneider. Well, not quite, but... 
there's a little bit more to go, so. Ah, uh, that's been a fun let's play though. I've quite enjoyed it. Congratulations on a job well done. Go through the hatch in the back. There's more. You'll see. Yay, we get a surprise. I like surprises. But yeah. This room's pretty cool. It's got like flashy lights on the ceiling. Stuff. So yeah, we have to go this way. And go through this hatch. And we get our surprise. Oh, not quite yet, we don't. Hey, this looks like that scene from uh, The Incredibles, if you've ever seen that, you know, where he's walking down the thing and he gets shot by all those machine gun blobby things out of the wall, you know? And he enters Kronos in that computer password. I remember that. Oh my god! Vanessa! I'll turn it up a bit. Okay, so if that's not the most anticlimactic ending ever, I don't know what is. But yeah, that was PN3. It was fairly fun, I guess. Apart from Mission 10. Ugh. I hate Mission 10. It's horrible. But yeah, PN3. I've quite enjoyed playing it. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. Uh, so yeah, I guess I will see you next time for the next Let's Play from me, Red Eagle 84. So yeah, from me, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time for the next Let's Play. Uh, I'll let the credits roll. See you next time, guys.